Good evening and welcome to Minneapolis American Indian Center. Tonight we're rehosting our Cultural Language Native Arts Network Drum and Dance. Tonight's special feature is Anza Achoa and his sons covering the traditional dance form style. We're waiting on Anza tonight, but anyway, he's here. So we're going to do a little um, song here with our drum crew. Tonight we have Mike Thunder, Merv LaRose, and Alan White with us here tonight, singing for us. Also, please be sure to check in on our weekly uh, page for other events as well, such as Miko Sampson's Hoop Dance, which occurs every Tuesday night around the same time here, as well as our family language tables coming up, which you have to sign up for that. Anyway, please be sure to check the sign-in link for our tonight's raffle. It's a $20 gift card to Target. Thank you. All right, let's do another song. As promised tonight, tonight's special feature features Aza Achoa. Aza is a local dancer for the traditional style to the Twin Cities. In a few moments here, Aza will briefly explain to us what traditional dancing is and what it means to him. Aza. Aza. So, uh, can you explain to us here your uh, awesome outfit you got going on? Well, I'm having some malfunctions right now. It's Broke. Happens to the best of us. All good. So, well, this is the breastplate. Just broke on me. It's all good. So, uh, this is what we use to shield our chest. Is there a certificate and, uh, behind that? Uh, well, chest plate? as far as I know, you know, this is what we use when we go to war. Go to war? To protect us. Protect us. All right. It's like yeah. a shield. Like some armor. Some, yeah. Yeah, that's awesome. So, uh, uh, we have, we use roach. The roach? The feathers. Is that our uh, porcupine or? Here's all porcupine. Porcupine hair. Deer hair. And uh, we got the two spinners, which is a significant to the feathers when uh, people use them. There's a lot of deers to it. Right, uh, right. 
Give us from, one real quick. From what I was taught is uh, this two feathers in it, uh, had to have a significant for for me because I danced for my for my wife mm -hmm. and for my baby, uh -huh. which they're not here. I got my two boys, which they're always with me. So oh yeah, by me having these feathers, my wife and my and my baby are always with they're me. Always with you. I'm always dancing for them. Yes sir. And uh, you know we dance for the people. Oh yeah, it's the so, only way. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, we wear the apron, uh, the bells. The uh, significant behind the bells is to, to uh, scare the bad spirits away. Oh, okay. You know, obviously Through the jingling noise, yeah. they get scared. Yes. All right. So, you know, there, there's always bad juju out there. Yeah. So, you know, we try to keep everything safe. We got to keep that negative energy away from us. That's course, right. Yeah. So, moccasins and, uh, you know, everything else is... You know, kind of part of like uh, that's a really awesome pattern of beadwork. Can you explain this? Uh, uh, all the feathers and the this, shape? this is significant that uh, my brother in law did for me represents uh, Standing Rock. Oh, Standing Rock, Sue. So, uh, you know, he uh, he had a vision and uh, he did it for me, pictured me out there dancing with this. So, I'm out here representing for, for the whole family, right, Standing right. Rock and uh, Ojibwe's. Uh, from uh, Red Lake. Oh yeah. So, uh, yeah. Uh, I don't know what else. So, what about traditional dancing made you want to become a traditional dancer? Or can you tell us a little bit about that? Is there a thing as traditional versus contemporary? Or well, contemporary is more new moves into it. Right, uh, right. So, when you dance traditional, you can that tradition from uh, from the elders from back in the days. Now, if, if you notice. Uh, Later on, you uh, I know you're gonna tr introduce my son. He he dances more, a little bit more of a contemporary. Right, right, okay. So he has that that new style. He has his own new, style to it, <laughs> which all these new generations uh, bring out. And uh, you know, I just try to keep it as traditional. As just I keeping can. it like yeah. name, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. I don't know. So, all right, all right. I'm a, I'm a little. Out of, out of shape, so. No, <laughs> you're out there dancing. <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. Well, I think tonight we should give you and your sons your own special showcase tonight. How about that? Yeah, that sounds let's good. Let's call them out here. It, and uh, let's all, let's just be you guys for this one. Come here. Asa, Angel. This is Asa's sons here. And you guys all dance all the time together. It's not just you, it's all the no, time. No, it's not. It's not. I can't be out there without them. Right, right. 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 Unless they're uh, else doing something else, and uh, they're right there with go. you. <laughs> other than that, they're always with me, as Absolutely. well as my daughter and my wife. But you know, my wife, you know, she has to work, so right, right. She stay back home, and my baby don't like leaving mom alone. Oh so, yeah, you know, yeah. So it's a good thing. Oh know? yeah. All right. So right here we got. Come here, Jenny. Uh, we got my young one, Angel Ochoa, which uh, he represents. Little Earth Brave this year. And uh, he dances with the buffalo hat. And uh, I got my my junior, Asa Ochoa, which he also dances with the buffalo. And uh, more traditional. He dances more contemporary. Oh, this is a contemporary guy right yes, here. You like doing your own style. Contemporary. Thing. He adds to it. He adds some flavor to right. the tradition. So. <laughs> Uh, more traditional, more old school. He follows a lot of old schools, you know. Uh, can I say names? Sure. Uh, you know, one of his all-time favorites is, uh, since he was young, is uh, Mr. Terry Fiddler. You oh, know, okay. He looks up to Mr. Terry Fiddler. Uh, of course, uh, Jim Gray Eagle, you know. He really liked those styles. Oh, yeah. And uh, when it comes to the Buffalo Man, you know, he, he likes Josh. Sorry if I can't pronounce it. Last name at Atchikan. Okay. Uh, I don't know if you know him from Wisconsin. All right, all right. Uh, he dances with the Buffalo, so he, that's one of his favorite dancers. And you didn't want to be the Buffalo? <laughs> uh, no, not me. Not me. <laughs> I'm not there yet. That's all right. <laughs> you know, for uh, for that, you know, uh, from what I'm told, is uh, visions, dreams, they come to families, and uh, well, my uh, my brother-in-law had that, and. Uh, he asked for me to bless my kids with this, so, yeah, yeah. you know, it's only right when uh, their uncle 
Uh, Did he say that he wanted one to be more contemporary and more traditional than the other? Or? Uh, well, no, actually, he... Uh, he did on his own. He just, you know, he just goes off, you know. A while back, you know, mommy telling the story, a while back, he, uh, he felt bad because he felt like nobody liked his style of dancing, oh, you know. Gee. And uh, I had uh, this one guy that I seen dancing like him remind me so much of his dancing style that uh, I went and asked him if he can uh, share a few words just to my son to encourage him. Right, right. And uh, he did. And uh, ever since then, you know, it's just like he snapped out of it and uh, he came out with this new style. Oh, and, yeah. You know, so a lot of energy, a lot yeah. of energy. So uh, i thankful. Well, you know what they say, often imitated, never duplicated. You keep doing your thing now. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so. Uh, and so did you pick out the colors in your outfit or? Well, you want to do that on your own? Well, uh, uh, this, you know, I got, I got, I had gotten him this and this. Right. So uh, he, he just got the side drops. Like, so you turn around, so you the side drops. Oh, he got right. those, so, you know, I had somebody make those to go with the outfit. Right, right. And, uh, right. you know, he just, he just loves wearing that, so. Oh, yeah. That, that's him. And, and, uh, no, my, definitely make you stand out on the ring. So, so my young guy, you know, he's more of wanting, picking, you know, I, I bring it out to him and uh, if he likes it, he wears it, if oh, not, yeah. he doesn't, so it's more of his style. Right, right. Yeah. So that's traditional, you know, whatever you have, you use. Yep. <laughs> oh, yeah. Cool. Yeah. And I notice your outfit here, too. Got a lot of shiny bees on there as well. And you got the, the two snacks, I believe, right? Well, he was uh, he was the brain for it in that young, but last year, you know, with the COVID and everything else, he, uh, he didn't have no power, so oh, okay. he didn't have nothing. So he still wears it. He still represents in that young, and uh, hopefully next year they'll have a powwow, and uh, we'll see what happens from there. But uh, he'd be he'd be the second year representing in that young. Oh, that's awesome! Congratulations on that. Yeah. Yeah, all right. Well. I think everyone here on the other side wants to see you guys put your bees and your skills to use. And you're awesome with Well, let me just change this and uh, I'll be ready right. to We'll be with us temporarily. <laughs> in the meantime, please check in and sign in on our weekly raffle. If you sign in, that will enter your chance to win the $20 Target gift card. So if you haven't already, also please click the like button on the Facebook page for Cultural Language Arts Network. There we have several events posted throughout the week. Another big one is Tuesday, uh, Miko Sampson's hoop class. There's also a raffle in there. You can also win your own hoops as well. And Miko provides a, a weekly workout for you to do at home in your own comfort. We're just waiting temporarily here for Ozla and his sons, and we're gonna showcase their dancing skills.
thank you for that awesome song. As we let our traditional dancers, our guest showcase, give them a break, let's go check in on our drummers and see who we have tonight. Nice drum crew, good job. We got Mr. Alan White. Bad Red Day, Verbal Rose, Mike Thunder, and our guest drummer, Billy Smith. Billy Smith! Smith. <laughs> Alright, As we give our dancers and our drummers just a temporary break, about a short rest break, please check in to our page on Facebook and please sign in to the link provided in the chat message here on the pin message. That'll get us to get you in the ra in the raffle tonight. Sorry about that. In the raffle. <laughs> Thank you. In a moment here, we're going to ask all our dancers and our drummers to perform another performance. All right. Another awesome performance for our drum and dance. So, we're gonna do a special style of dance tonight. It's gonna be the crow hop, which we covered last week, or the week before that, shortly. So, we're gonna do the crow hop dance and have all of our dancers be in it. Crow hop.
throughout the course of our programming, we've covered many different styles of dance and topics that you can be found around the powwow arena. Now, I know last week we covered the two-step dance. However, this week we're going to do a little bonus feature for you guys. It's actually called the trick dance, which at a powwow, it'll trick the dancers to get them off beat. It actually happened to be here before once, and we're going to do it again tonight. Viewers back at home, I hope you take the multiple messages we've been sending tonight to sign in to our weekly raffle. Let's see who won tonight's raffle. you've enjoyed tonight's drum and dance we're going to give our singers about a few seconds to break it gets very very tiring as you're doing these dances over and over and it, being asked to do it once again is very time and energy efficient so it takes a lot of your energy away as you're busting those moves out so as we give them a break thank you for joining tonight's drum and dance Thank you for joining tonight's drum and dance, and we're going to close you out with a nice song to go home with, and I hope to see you next week.
For the viewers at home, thank you for watching tonight's Drum and Dance by the Cultural Language Arts Network. I hope you join us next week where we follow Miko Sampson and his hoop dance lesson. I know you can follow uh, Mik the page on Tuesday nights and Miko Sampson does his lesson on Tuesday night, but on Thursday night, it'll be the Miko Sampson special where he gives us a presentation about the hoop dance along with the drum backing him up. Next week is all about Miko. Good night.